What's up, fight fans? Hold on to your seats because Iron Mike is back and he's pulling absolutely no punches, literally. In a wild turn of events, Mike Tyson's training camp just got explosive. Word is, Tyson went beast mode on his sparring partner, and let's just say, things didn't end well for the poor guy. Not only did Mike throw some devastating punches, but he also apparently threw the guy right out of the camp. Yeah, Tyson went full savage mode, kicked him out on the spot. What's even crazier? This all happened just weeks before his fight with Jake Paul. There's a lot to unpack with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. All right, let's rewind for a sec. For anyone who's been living under a rock, Mike Tyson is back in the gym, gearing up for his mega showdown with Jake Paul. This fight is about to be one for the history books, not just because it's an internet star against a boxing legend, but because both these guys are bringing serious energy. But here's the thing. Tyson, at 58, isn't just casually sparring in training. Nah, he's out here fighting like it's 1986 again. Sources say Mike was going all out during a recent sparring session, pushing his partner to the limit. And, well, the limit was crossed. Tyson caught him with his scary hook and sent him crashing down to the canvas. But here's where things get spicy. Instead of showing respect or taking the hit in stride, the sparring partner allegedly got mouthy with Tyson, talking back and getting real disrespectful. And you already know, Tyson was not having it. Dude straight up kicked him out of the camp on the spot. Now, can you even imagine the vibe in that gym when this went down? Tyson KOs the guy. And instead of shaking it off, the partner has the audacity to get in Mike's face? Like, are you kidding? We're talking about Iron Mike, the guy who took boxing to the next level. So, for this sparring partner to come back at him after getting knocked out? Rookie mistake! You can't pull that kind of move with Tyson. So, let's break down why this matters for Tyson's upcoming fight with Jake Paul. For one, it shows that Tyson isn't pulling his punches, not even in training. He's treating every sparring session like it's the real thing. And if Jake Paul thought this was going to be some easy payday fighting a 58-year-old, he's got another thing coming. Tyson's knockout of his sparring partner and the way he handled the disrespect afterward sends a big message. He's serious, he's focused, and he's bringing that old-school Tyson energy back to the ring. Now, word on the street is that Jake Paul's camp is actually a little freaked out by this news. Tyson is putting in the work like he's got something to prove, and Jake's team is reportedly strategizing hard to find ways around that insane power. But let's be honest, how do you prepare for Mike Tyson's punches? There's no blueprint for that. Jake can't trash talk his way out of this one. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day, he's fat. I thought, did you start training already? Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. He's not gonna win. Nigga, he can't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. How's he gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't get knocked those little guys. How are you going to knock me out? Who, who did little... he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. I can't even get mad at this guy because everybody knows this guy's talking out of his ass. <laughs> and stealing money. I'm up here, you're stealing money fighting him. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm gonna finish him. Jake is also giving his all in his sparring sessions, but ain't no way he's out here dropping people in sparring. So the big question is, how is Jake Paul going to handle this? Jake's been trash-talking his way through his career, getting under the skin of his opponents, but this time it might backfire. Tyson isn't phased by Jake's words, and he's not looking for internet clout. Tyson's got one thing on his mind. Total domination. <laughs> Let's talk about that power difference for a second. 
Tyson's hitting like a truck, even at 58. That's not something you can just train to defend against. Jake's team might be running endless drills, practicing dodges, counter punches, and footwork, but nothing can really prepare him for those Tyson bombs. The dude can still hit like he did in his prime. Plus, Tyson's experience isn't just physical, it's mental too. He's got that focus, that unbreakable determination. He's not out here for show. He's here to show everyone that age is just a number. This fight is bigger than just a payday or a PR stunt for him. It's about proving he's still the king. There's a reason why experts like Joe Rogan favored Tyson to win this fight despite his age and it's showing. Like Tyson, people talk shit too. People are, there's so, certain people that are just crazy, man. Well, speaking of Mike Tyson, this, these people that think that he don't stand a chance against Jake Paul, that like this shouldn't even, like he, cause he's too old. I was like, I think you're, I think you're crazy. Well, they're I, definitely uninformed. Yeah. Because the, the, here's the thing, he is 57 years old. He, he will be 58 when they fight. He, he has had a long fighting career. He, he has been knocked out by massive men like Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield. You know, he's, he's had a lot of blows. And, you know, it's yeah. long, you know, long past the time where most people ever fight. Expect Jake's team to be on high alert. They're probably watching Tyson's training videos on repeat, trying to figure out some kind of strategy to deal with the pressure that Iron Mike brings. But let's be real, there's no blueprint for surviving Tyson's punches, especially if you get caught slipping. Jake Paul was initially set to go head to head with Mike Tyson back in July. Picture this, the problem child versus Iron Mike. It was shaping up to be the most epic boxing match of all time. But just when we were hyped to see history in the making, the rug got yanked out from under us. Tyson had a surprise ulcer flare up on a flight from Miami to LA, forcing the heavyweight legend to pull out. Yeah, Jake wasn't too happy about this. So, Jake's left hanging with a massive hole in his fight card. But this dude doesn't mess around. He finds a new opponent, and who does he pick? Mike Perry, the platinum piercing punk. Yeah, you heard me right. From one mic to another, but totally different vibes. Perry's the face of Bare Knuckle FC, or at least he was before Jake Paul embarrassed him in front of millions. Mike Perry was all bark and no bite. He became a punching bag for Paul in the ring and ended up getting knocked out cold. Yes, Jake Paul looked impressive against Mike Perry when they fought back in July, but make no mistake, Mike Tyson is a real threat. He's not some retired MMA fighter. This guy knows boxing like no other, and he's gonna come out looking to end Jake Paul every second of the fight. Different day, same fate, my knockout Jake Paul. This fight has made a lot of rounds on the internet and attracted reactions from everyone around the world. Now all the pros have locked in their predictions. Manny Pacquiao believes Jake doesn't have what it takes to beat the one and only Mike Tyson. After watching Tyson knock his sparring out, I'm sure everyone agrees with Manny. What do you think of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? Oh, that fight just got announced. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. They're going to fight, huh? Yeah, they're going to fight. Do you think Jake Paul can beat Mike Tyson? I don't think so. <laughs> so that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.